So if like me you love printing your photographs and you're a Mac user, if you want the very best results possible, do not use AirPrint. Okay, so what is AirPrint? Well, to quote Apple, AirPrint is an Apple technology that helps you create full quality printed output without the need to download or install drivers. Now this might sound all fine and dandy, but actually it isn't. Let me explain. Now I own a Canon Pro 300 printer, which I love. And if I was going to print one of my images out and only use Canon photo paper, then there's little else I need to do in my printing software apart from tell the printer. And results will generally be more than acceptable. However, I love trying out different kinds of paper. Digital photo papers, fine art papers and fibre based papers because it's incredible how the right paper choice can complement and enhance an image. Now the brand of paper I use the most is by Permajet and so for me to use that paper with my Canon printer so that the final print matches as near as is possible to what I have on my monitor, I need to use something called an ICC profile, which are also sometimes referred to as paper profiles. Permajet offers a free service to make bespoke custom ICC profiles for folks using their papers and all you have to do is print out their colour chart using your printer and send it back to them for scanning. And this is where AirPrint has a problem. So first of all I'm going to print the coloured chart that Permajet would need to scan to create me a custom ICC profile for my exact printer, paper and ink combination. I'll do this using a wired connection a USB cable connecting my printer to my computer. In the printer settings we can see that colour management is off automatically and in the quality and media section this is where I choose the appropriate media type. The Permajet paper I'm using is Permajet Portrait White and so in the driver the recommended media type from Permajet is heavyweight fine art paper. Doing this tells the printer how thick the paper is so it knows how high to position the print head and so avoid print strike. It also tells the printer how much ink to use to avoid pooling and fuzziness. And also if your printer has photo black and matte black cartridges, it tells the printer which one of them to use. And this is the result. The chart has printed perfectly. Colours look great and I can clearly see each of the individual coloured squares even though the difference between some of them is very slight. Now though I'll print the chart again but this time instead of choosing the USB connection to my printer I'm going to choose the AirPrint connection. Straight away we can see things have changed because I no longer have the choices to check colour management and also choose the media type. But let's press print anyway and see what happens. Ok so here's the USB printed version and here's the air print version. But on the air print version notice how the individual colour squares aren't so obvious, especially in the blues which just look like one long streak of blue. Now there's clearly a big difference in the range of colour and detail being printed when we use AirPrint and this is really important to know because potentially if we use AirPrint to print our photographs we are missing out on a lot of quality. To show this let's print out this image and I'll do that using Lightroom. In the software I'll choose the correct ICC profile and my preferred rendering intent and then I'll choose the USB connection to my printer. I'll choose the recommended media type and click print. And this is the result which looks fantastic. Colours are bang on and so is the gradient in the sky and the detail in the lower clouds. 
Now though, I'll print the same image again using Lightroom. I'll choose the same ICC profile and the same rendering intent. But this time when I click print, I choose the air print connection to my printer. But notice again, all the settings I'd want to use such as media type are gone. But why is that? Well again, here is how Apple describe AirPrint. AirPrint is an Apple technology that helps you create full quality printed output without the need to download or install drivers. So if AirPrint doesn't use the drivers or software, it will ignore them if they are there. So even though we think we are doing everything right, using the dedicated printing software, choosing the correct ICC profile, and we've even calibrated our displays correctly, AirPrint is ignoring all of it and doing its own thing. Here's the result of the AirPrint print, and it's not hard to see that this is nowhere near as good as the USB printed version. For starters, the color and gradient in the sky is just wrong, and the skin tones are way off. Now, decent printers are not cheap, and the actual process of printing isn't cheap either, with having to constantly replace ink cartridges. So if you want to get the very best results possible and not waste money, and you're a Mac user, do not use AirPrint. Now, AirPrint is different to a regular wireless setup, but even that has its problems. I spent quite a bit of time at some paper manufacturers and professional printing labs for the printing course I'm recording, and every one of them recommended a wired connection for the best possible results. There are several reasons why this is the case, but one of them is that wireless printing can slow the printing down because of buffering, and this can also cause drying lines on the print when the printing has paused momentarily and then restarted. So a wired connection is always recommended and preferred, but if you insist on going wireless and you're a Mac user, just don't use AirPrint. Now, just an extra couple of points to mention. You'll see here for me, it's really obvious which is the AirPrint connection. Now that's only because I changed the name of it to make it that obvious. Ordinarily, you'll just see the name of your printer, which can make it very easy to choose the AirPrint connection instead of the USB connection. Also, I've shown this in Adobe Print Utility where we can choose Apple AirPrint and also Lightroom. You can also choose AirPrint in software like QImage. However, in the Canon Professional Print Utility, you don't get that option. It keeps it to the best one, which is USB. AirPrint doesn't even appear. Now, as for Epson, if you've got an Epson printer and you're a Mac user, I'd really appreciate you let me know if you get that option to choose AirPrint by leaving a comment below. Now, that complete printing course that I mentioned, which is all about getting the best possible results when you print at home or when you send it to a lab, that's very nearly finished. So if you want to keep informed about that, just join my email group over on my website. But for now, I'd just really appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't already, click on subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.